With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The given question says that in an equilateral triangle, ABC, equilateral triangle is a triangle where all the three sides of the triangle are equal. D is a point on side BC such that BD is equal to 1 by 3 BC. So an equilateral triangle ABC, just like the one shown in the figure is there, with a point D on side BC, such that BD is equal to one third of the total length BC. Now we are required to prove that AD square is equal to 7 times AB square. So we are required to prove this statement that 9 times of this length square that is 9 times of AD square is equal to 7 times of AB square that is side of a side of the equilateral triangle. So let's uh, solve this question. First of all we are given that BD is equals to 1 by 3 of BC. Now we have assumed all the sides to be X because it is it is an equilateral triangle so all the sides will be equal. So we have assumed all the sides to be x. So we can write BD is equals to 1 by 3 of x. Now if we observe the triangle AEB and triangle AEC, what we find is that in triangle AEB and triangle AEC, angle AEB, angle AEB is equals to angle AEC because both of them are 90 degree. Also, the side AB is equal to AC because sides of equilateral triangle are equal and the, the side that is AE is common in both of them. Side AE is equal to AE because, both, both, because the side is common in both the triangles. So what we, what we can see is that, that both the triangles both the triangles that is AEB and triangle AEC are congruent. So I can write triangle AEB congruent to triangle AEC because there is a right angle which is equal and there is the hypotenuse that is AB is equal to AC and there is one of the sides that is AE which is common in both of these triangles. Therefore triangle AEB is congruent to triangle AEC and if the reason is by R H S congruence criteria or rule. Both the triangles are congruent and we know that the two when two triangles are congruent their, their corresponding parts are also equal. So here we can say that BE is equal to EC because corresponding parts of congruent triangles are equal. So we can say that BE is equal to EC. Now we know that BC if e BE is equal to EC, then we can also write that EC is equal to half of the total length that is BC. So we can write that EC is equal to half of BC. Or we can also write that because BC we have assumed to be X. So we can write BE is equal to half of X. So now we have BE is equal to half of X and BD is equal to one third of X. We were given, we were given it in the question. So I can write DE. I can write DE as DE can be written as DE is equals to BE minus BD. If we subtract the length BD from BE, we will get DE. So I can write DE is equals to BE minus BD and BE is X by 2 minus BD is X by 3, which is given in the question. So on solving it, we will get DE is equals to 3x minus 2x by taking the LCM we will get x divided by 2 multiplied by 3 will give us 6. So DE is equals to x by 6. Now if we observe this triangle, this triangle ADE, this is a right angle triangle. Now what we are proceeding towards is we are we are trying to we are going to find out the or apply Pythagoras theorem in this triangle and find out the value of AD square. For that we have just found out the value of DE. Now we will proceed to find out the value of EE and for that we will consider this triangle, triangle AEB or right angle triangle AEB. In right angle triangle AEB, AB is hypotenuse so we can write AB square is equal to BE square 
plus a e square. So let's do it. We can write a b square a b square is equals to a e square plus b e square a e square plus b e square. So we have this we are getting through using Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem says, says that a, that hypotenuse square is equals to base square plus perpendicular square. Now putting in the values, we have assumed a b to be x, so x square is equals to a e square is something we are supposed to find out. b e is equals to we have just fi find out that b found out that b b e is equals to x by two. So putting in putting in the value of b e as x by two square, we will get x square is equals to a e square plus x square divided by 4. This x square divided by 4 when it will go to the left hand side of the equation will turn into a minus. So we will get a e square is equals to x square minus x square divided by 4. On taking the LCM we will get 4x square minus x square that is 3x square divided by 4 is equals to a e square. So now we have a e square. We have the value of a e square we have the length of d so now if if i apply pythagoras theorem in the triangle ade what i will get is ad square is equals to ad square is equals to ae square plus d square ae square plus de square now a e square is equals to 3x square plus divided by 4 plus d e square d e square is equals to d is x divided by 6 so d e square will be equal to x square divided by 36 now we will take the lcm which will come out to be 36 and 36 divided by 4 will give us 9 9 multiplied by 3 will give us 27 x square plus 36 divided by 36 will give us 1 1 multiplied by x square will give us x square so on simplifying it further we will get a d square is equals to 28 divided by 36 x square now 28 divided by 36 when we will divide this by 4 we will get 7 divided by 9 x square is equals to ad square and we had assumed the side of the triangle to be x so we can take this as ab because x is equals to ab or ab is equals to x because we had assumed it to be x so now we have ad square is equals to 7 divided by 9 ab square this 9 will go to the left hand side of the equation and we will get the final answer as 9 ad square is equals to 7 ab square and this is what we were supposed to prove in the question that 9 times ad square is equal to 7 times ab square so final answer is this hence proved and that's all thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today